since um, the topic was on guns tonight, I um, listened to a little Joe Osteen. But um, I counted the prank calls. I got a lot of prank calls during that. Um, I can't, it's about 200. So if the police were abiding by the law, clearly they're not. Um, there should be an investigation for all these excessive prank calls. A lot of the parties that called me made it very obvious that they were Jason's minions and they were calling regarding him, trying to protect him and cover for him, which, you know, is evidence of the stalking and all kind of other crimes and harassment that I've already reported, but they refuse to investigate and cover for. So 200 calls, just so you can see, that's 10 hours. I don't want to go into personal calls. Look at the two hours, two hours. So you can see how this clearly can go up to 200. Two hours, look at this one hour. This is who's running the government. This is who's running us and controlling us. This is who's hacking the phone networks. Enticing people to even deprive me of my constitutional right to appear at court. 30 minutes, look at all this. So if you can imagine once again, to put things in perspective, this is how it feels to me, like a dangerous stalker from a horror movie as president or running the government. Is that a threat to national security when we have someone like a horror movie on a Lifetime movie or one of these uh, movies, a stalker like that, that is running our government? So I just try to people give people the shell shock, well, shell shock that was ignored for a long time. People really need to realize exactly what's going on here. We have the FBI in a multitude of locations covering up for this man that you can see has a major problem with what he's doing. Anyway, this is a video diary. I lost, I stopped counting at 200 calls for one day. That's a record that I've counted. 